Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we made it to Great Fish Isle. And the spirit Jabon is no longer here. The island seems to be cursed according to everybody, but oh. So Jabon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabon hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? Alright, so this island has literally nothing at all to offer me. I suppose that's not necessarily true, but... Hey, look, it's... Hello, swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I've come here to plant the great Deku tree seed, but look. Usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously whenever you plant them, but for some reason this one has withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow croaks have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from that year's seeds wither and fail to grow tall and mighty. What are we to do? If we are not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest wills never spread, and the great Dooku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe if we could sprinkle the water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then this sapling would be saved. The water is the wellspring of the great Dooku tree's life force. Wow, that sounded really stupid. Swordsman, could you go to the forest haven and get some of the water that flows around the great Deku tree? Could you get some and sprinkle it on this poor forest tree? Please, please help me. Everybody wants me to help them. That's three! That's three of them. Okay, so... I would get the fish from this island, but at the moment, I think what we're doing now is a tad more important than that, so... I guess we're gonna make a pit stop the windfall. We have to change the wind's direction again. see the fish anywhere. The music changed. It's nighttime now. It was like daytime on the way there. Oh, we need Windfall Island then next, right? Oh crap, enemies! Get away from me! Stupid bitch! If you come near me again, I swear I'll attack. I warned you, pansy! He dropped money on the ocean, and it didn't sink. Oh, hell. Hold on a minute. Hoi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I take it you want to chart and information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart. Tingle Island.
let me tell you a little something about that island over there, Small Fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just uh, goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is when it comes to time to pay his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. How much could he possibly charge for one map? Okay, so we're out of bait. I need to get more, but Windfall Island is right over there. Yes, rupee- wait, I already have max amount of rupees! I don't really need that then, do I? We're almost there! Alright, we've made it to Windfall Island. I see the pirate ship. This guy couldn't have parked at a better spot. I'm going in and getting more items. What? He didn't have anything but the bait? I mean, I guess that's what I came in here for. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I don't care about arrows at this point. I don't- I don't need arrows, I need bait, damn it, Bait! Bait, damn you, I need it! Okay, I get it. Alright, that's it. Look at that! It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Jeez, it's all rainy and shit. Alright, so we're back at Windfall. The post office is jiggling again. Okay, first, I'm gonna drink this. Did you see his face? He looked like he didn't enjoy it. It just kind of looks like a po- What do those potions taste like? I always wonder. But I need my magic energy back, so I'm drinking the blue one. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me, Orca. And he gave me a red rupee. Okay, so we're gonna go in here for the first time. Damn, this dude's co this dude collects. Sorry about your pots, sir. Hello, hello, and hello! You are standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard, our potions are the best, I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible! Hmm? What's that? What's Chew Jelly, you ask? So looking somewhat bewildered. Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a magical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. 
The words true jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? No, but I have these. How the hell did I get so many of these? Whatever, I'm sure he probably wants this. Gask, is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Oh, oh, ah, this is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Paw Print Isle, a small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot, for when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, that's it! That's it, 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 that's it. That's the sparkle I was looking for. That sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been 10 years since I began my now legendary studies of the new the chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first inspiration years vanishes. And this dude's crazy. Look at those teeth. He looks like Timmy Turner. But grown up. Or maybe a beaver. It, it's ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have the first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. You got some green potion. You can set it to and recover your magic power. You can keep it in your bottle. la dee do. My next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. And now thanks to us, this man sells green potion. I guess he really liked the potion. He didn't have to flip over it, though. As if I want to read something so exotic. But regardless, let's find the pirates now. It's a bar, and everybody's here. Is it true that the pirates have invaded our beastful little island? That's terrible news. What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? It's true, 100% true. I've seen it myself. A stern-looking pirate ship sailing full speed towards this little town. I'd swear on the sea. Wow, these guys are so tired, they're not even drinking anything. Uh, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, those pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas. Except you're not drinking anything. There's nothing in the cup. Hey, what are you doing? Just talking? Have you heard? These are pirates right here on this island right now. Well, that's what they say anyway. Me? I don't believe it. Now let's just say, just for a moment, that pirates actually did come ashore. What would they want with a peaceful village like this? Tell me that, laddie. Uh... Probably a drink with actual drinks in it? Jeez, could they not at least give them a drink in the cup? The cups are empty. Okay, so, obviously there are pirates here, but they don't seem to- their ship's right there. That was my game, dum-dum! Who cleans pirates' ears? Barking dogs. No, no, that's completely wrong. Now scram, non-pirate. 
jeez, I don't know. How the hell am I supposed to knew, know who clean is a pirate's ears? A, a, an ear doctor? Okay, I don't know. You're asking me to think of something like that. I mean... We're closed today, so scram. Now. Well, geez, I know the guy's a dick, but he's not that bad. Freaking charged me, tried to charge me 10,000 rupees for bombs last time. 10,000 rupees for 10 bombs. I better be fucking Bill Gates or Donald Trump because you'd never be able to afford that. Okay. Hmm. You know, it take, took me forever as a little kid to figure out that I'm supposed to crawl up that thing. Oh, wow, look who we have here. They're stealing bombs. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh. Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Well, damn, they don't really care much about me, do they? Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I I'm fine either way, of course. Whether you Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? I like how they just don't say anything. <laughs> You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island? You saw the senseless destruction? We have to hurry on to Outsetter, the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're more worried about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous, I want, you know, the treasure. Oh shit. Up. Alright, fine, have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies, but we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye aye. She saw me, and she like literally changed her mind? Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Swabies, yeah? Remember? You know, that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right, and he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabies, yeah? Swabies, eh? She saw me, but she doesn't care. I can't use my weapon in here. Honestly, this dude deserves it. I mean, he was charging way too much for bombs. I don't... Honestly, I'm not surprised someone stole his damn bombs. Come on, now. 
If you really, th if you didn't see how much he was trying to charge for that crap, go back to episode five. Y no, episode four. My bad. Go to episode four and just wait. Look at that part. He charges like twenty thousand, thirty thousand, ten thousand. Why so much? All right, back to this. Who cleans pirates' ears? Dogs didn't bark that time, but swabbies. Right, right, you may enter. Good. Now let's see if I can steal myself some bombs. There's no one guarding the room this time. Ooh, I got a room! <laughs> Woo! Look, and she has some weird pictures on her wall. We got... Uh... This is a weird picture. Why does she have a picture of me on her wall? I don't know what that is either. Nice room though. Either way. Oh, Link, me old swabby Link. So you're alive. All the other pirates said you got done in by that monster bird in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought, you're alive! Oh, I get it now, you came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Is that why that, it was the password? Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well this time there aren't any, which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. How the fuck did- What? Sad, did anyone see- How did he jump over there? And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. How the f How did he jump over there? The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, swabby. Bombs, huh? I could actually use some of those. Pirates need them to get that treasure, then so do I. Oh, crap. That was easier than the first time! What? You've got to be- you did it already? You're- you're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? Okay, can anyone answer me then? Where where the fuck did he jump from exactly? If he's never passed this test, how the hell did he make it over here? And what did he jump from? He just kind of jumped from the side. And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? You, I like how he's just blocking the door and Link's, Toon Link doesn't give a crap. But, alright, we're gonna get the bombs now, thank goodness. You got bombs. You can carry up to 30. Pull one out and press A to throw it or ZR to set it at your feet. Try it out, it's a blast. Using bombs while on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off sea going enemies. Set them to and use them with Y, X, or R. That's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Uh oh, she knows. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? 
You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just what? how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabon's treasure too. Right now, Jabon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. But we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Shit. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Crap. Alright, um... I suppose we ought to go and beat the pirates there, then. Alright, so... With that said, I suppose you should join me next time, where we'll have to race to Outset Island. After 12-something episodes, we are finally going to be back at Outset. I just wonder if anything's changed. With that said, I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.